Hello, hello. It's Jacqueline here with another cooking class. Remember, I just revamped these and now they're called Frugal Feast because as we know, our economy is a little crazy right now. A lot of people are probably finding there's a lot of increases at the grocery store and I thought that I would share some really great recipes that would save you a lot of money, keep the family super, super happy with the food that you're making and uh, showcase, of course, some Epicare. So welcome, say hi, where are you coming in from? So today what we're going to do is we're, hey Audrey, nice to see you. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to focus on creamy chowder. This is so tasty and versatile. Now, just so you know, on the back of each package is instructions on how to make it. But I also wanted to feature, this is a, a recipe book that was available and may come available again. I'm not too sure, but it's raw to ready in 20 minutes or less. And literally inside this collection, there is actually numerous recipes for chowder. And I'm actually going to do one of them today. So the one that I'm going to feature today is more a plant-based one, although it's not totally plant-based because there's actually cheddar cheese in the mix. But we're gonna do a black bean and corn chowder. Now, I will give you some fun food facts today as we're going through this, but um, I need to get this in the microwave really quickly. So let's get started with our creamy bean and corn chowder. All right, so first thing, let's get started with our veg. Now, today I'm gonna to be featuring our round steamer. We, we can use the multi-purpose steamer if you prefer. Um, but I wanted to do this, and you probably saw me use this when I was focusing on the um, shepherd's pie last week because I find it's really easy to mash in a circle versus in a corner with a square. I also like the round steamer because the thickness of the walls is thicker than our multi-purpose steamer and because it is a liquid, it is my choice, uh, it's my preference that it's more a solid base than the multi-purpose steamer. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to cut up our potatoes and we've got this great Y peeler. So you'll notice on each side, there's sort of some edges, and this is really good for taking out eyes. Not these eyes, these eyes, <laughs> okay? I know, what a goof I am, right? So we'll just, you can see how easy this is, how it just literally shreds it right off. It's, it's effortless, it's like butter. We're just gonna clean around this. Now we don't want to um, lose too much of our potatoes, so if you have an eye, you're just going to dig this in and just pop it out, right? Rather than trying to cut more and more and more off and you end up losing so much of your potato. So let me just clean up this mess. And we're going to cut this up. So, I've, um, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna use our ceramic knife here. And of course, with the ceramic knife, you notice it's got the shield that protects the blade. It stays sharp for a super long time. And what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that this is bite-sized pieces, right? So you may want to put this into four slices and then chop it up. And we're gonna put it right into the steamer. Okay. Any questions? Have you guys made the chowder? Now, I do want to let you know that this chowder, if you're looking for it, I should have mentioned this right off the get-go. If you're looking for this in our current catalog, you're not going to find it. This is actually a rewind item. This is a product that we used to carry. It's not in our current catalog, but is available right now for the month of March. There's a few other products that are available as well, such as our Tex-Mex and our One Pot Pasta. Um, but this one, I'm going to highly recommend while it's here, purchase multiple packages. Like, I really, really love this. So ideas on how you can use it is your standard creamy clam chowder, but you can use the black bean and corn. You could do a New English style um, and a West Coast, which is, I love the West Coast one because it's got shrimp and coconut milk in it. But um, yeah, lots of varieties. 
on this. Okay, so we're also gonna add a red pepper. Does it have to be a red pepper? No, you could use green, you can use yellow, whatever's on sale at your grocery store. And um, if you do find that uh, peppers are on sale, quite often at my local little store, we can get bags of pepper, reduced price. If you want to grab those to save yourself a ton of money, what you're going to want to do is cut them up like I'm doing now. Dice them and freeze them. That way when you're using them in a recipe like this, rather than having to cut it up while you're in there, you can simply just add your frozen peppers to it. Oh, there's my mom watching. Hey, you love that one. Yes, it's only available right now, mom. So if you need the creamy chowder, order lots of it. I know I, I bought three sets. I'm also going to put in some corn. You can use canned corn. You can use frozen corn. And you do not have to drain the liquid out. The liquid's going to just give you a lot more flavor. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some water to this because it is a soup. So we're gonna use two cups of water. Now this I love, this is our multi-purpose steamer. I'm gonna be steaming, our multi-purpose pot, sorry. I'm gonna be steaming this because it happens really fast in the steamer to cook potatoes. But I'm gonna use this as a measuring cup. So I'm just gonna simply fill to the line. You'll see it stamped right inside is numbers. And I'm gonna put some hot water in here right now. Perfect, okay, so there's our hot water to the line. Just add that in. We're gonna put our lid on here. And make sure when you put the lid on that you put the vents away from the handles because this will get hot in your microwave. So we're just gonna pop this in. Every microwave is a little bit different, so anywhere between seven and 10 minutes. My microwave, I want it to be fork tender, so it's gonna take eight minutes for me. So let me just pop this in. All right, so what we're gonna do next is, I'm gonna give you some fun food facts because this is gonna take a little bit of time. Now, in this recipe, um, we're gonna be using black beans and I wanna talk to you about black beans. A couple options, you can buy, and a lot of times people go to the grocery store and they buy black beans in your grocery store in a can. Great, but I'm gonna tell you, you'll notice that this brand actually has no salt added. Why do I get no salt added? Well, I'll tell you why. If you are watching your sodium intake, and you wanna get a little healthier, maybe you have a little bit of hypertension, you're, you're watching your, your uh, sodium intake, this can, canned beans, not this one in particular because this is no salt added, but when you buy canned beans that are regular salted, you're gonna find that there's 10 times the sodium as what it would be if you had no sodium added. Now I'm sure this is the, uh, the other option. This is no salt, sodium added, so that's great, an option. And people buy that for convenience, but if we're doing a frugal meal, hey Joanne, nice to see you, and nice to see you, Bev. If you want a really frugal option, what I'm gonna recommend is that you go to the store and you buy bagged, dry, black beans. Now, they may be featured in your grocery store as turtle beans black turtle beans. The reason they're called turtle beans is because they've got a really hard shell. Now they're really easy to cook, especially if you have our multi steamer. And here's the thing, a lot of people don't like doing dried beans. I'm gonna tell you the flavor is so much better, but they, it's because it takes a little bit of time. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dump a large portion of your black beans into our multi-purpose steamer, add about two um, two inches of water above. Hey, Linda, nice to see you. Two inches of water above and let it sit overnight. Then you're going to drain it. You're going to add more water and you're going to cook it in the microwave again in that multi-purpose steamer for only about 12, 11 to 12 minutes. Now, if you're reading the back of a package and you're doing it conventionally on a stove, right? It's going to take you anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes. So this is the value and why you would love our time-saving cookware like our multi-purpose steamer. Now, when you do large volumes of that, you might be saying, yeah, but what am I going to do with it? Well, here, here's the deal. Once you have cooked your, 
oops, oops, sorry, not noisy there. Once you've cooked your black beans, um, you can actually freeze them. So buy some freezer bags and put them in one cup portions. So use your perfect portion scoops, scoop them into bags and freeze them. This is so economical and so much easier than easier and of course more frugal than buying canned, okay? So talking about huge savings. Now I wanted to feature this. Now when you're straining your beans, and I, of course I use the canned beans this time, this is our strainer and it is collapsible. I don't know if you can see that I'm making it larger and smaller. Um, so this is really good for fruits, vegetables, and also for storage. So this comes in really handy. Once it's collapsed right down, you can also use it like a trivet. And of course, once it's collapsed, it takes hardly any room in your kitchen. So if you are an RVer and are planning on doing some camping, this might be the perfect item to have because it has multi purposes to it. Okay, so let me pop in and get my mix. Okay, so here we go. Here's the steamer. And we now have our, I'll get the fork so you understand. Our fork tender potatoes. They don't have to be super mashy um, because you sort of want them to hold some consistency. So don't overcook them. But we now have part one done. Now what we need to do is we need to add our creamy chowder. Now, I had mentioned that I'm mostly going to do plant-based. So I'm going to use oat milk. Do you guys know about oat milk? I'm going to use some, this pot as well, okay? I'm just going to fill two cups. Do you know about oat milk? A lot of people know about almond milk, but I want to talk about oat milk. So you can make your own oat milk because I am finding that the oat milk in the grocery store is a little pricey. Um, but... Oat milk you can make by doing rolled oats and water. So the way you make it so you can save a lot of money is you're going to add one cup of rolled oats to four cups of water. Now you're not going to let it sit for a long period of time. You're going to put it in a food processor or a blender and you're going to whip that up for about 30 to 40 seconds. That's it. Then you're going to put it in some cheesecloth and you're going to strain out the solids and what's going to be left is your oat milk very economical why am I saying why am I keep saying that because just so you know the the oat milk that I just showed you I paid and it was on sale four dollars and sixty nine cents I'm not a big fan of of um, dairy milk but uh, I totally oops I'm looking for my whisk I totally like the flavor better so Oat milk also does not require refrigeration. So again, if you're thinking of doing camping, and it's a really nice day here in Peachland, um, if you're thinking of doing camping, oat milk can be, if you buy it in the container, the Tetra pack that I just showed you, it's, it's shelf stable. So it doesn't require room in your fridge. So that might be an option for you as well. Okay, so I'm using our whisk and our four cup prep bowl. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to add this. And because the ingredients, just to give you an idea of what's in here, is cornstarch. We've got some great flavoring. I'm going to use our saute spoon to make sure I get all this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to microwave this for about five minutes. And what it's going to do is it's going to thicken. And I'll give you some more fun food facts on this. You're gonna love, love this. Every recipe I've ever made with this has been bang on amazing. All right, so let me just put a lid on this and stick it in the microwave. Okay, so fun food facts. What else can I tell you about this? Um, okay, so the oat milk, I've got that covered. I've talked about the black beans. I want to, here's a fun food fact for you. If you're looking for great ways to save money, I don't know if you're aware of this. Hey, Elsie, nice to see you. We just launched our Epic Box. This is a subscription program that just started February 15th. And what it looks like, this is a spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know what's in here, 
shut your eyes, turn me off, and come back in about three minutes. But this is your Epic Box for the month of March. You would have had to order this in February to get this package. Now, I'm gonna tell you the price point on this is only $35 and shipping is included in the box. And you can sign up for a three, six, or 12 month subscription. And every month you're going to get seven meal solutions. So you get to try a variety of things. You'll get one dessert to try and you'll get a sample, an exclusive item and a sample of one of our dip mixes. Now, the other thing I'll let you know is in the packaging, you're also going to have a QR code that's going to be available during the first week of every month where you can get your grocery shopping and your menu planning for the month. Now, we don't guarantee you're going to eat healthy for the whole month, but there's going to be at least seven meals that you're going to bang out really quick, very economically, and um, try some great product. Now, when you decide that you found some of your favorites and they're, they become your family favorites, and what's nice about these packages is normally you have to buy sets of three. So when you buy the creamy, um, the creamy chowder one, you will have to have purchased three of these packages for $11.50 Canadian. What's different is maybe down the road, it would be in one of these packages and you would try one and fall in love with it, and then maybe host your own cooking class. So, spoiler alert, here we go. For the month of March, if you purchase this in February, you are going to get Shepherd's Pie. Shepherd's Pie is the one I featured last week. I love that. It's a seasonal item, so if you're placing an order for your creamy chowder, you're probably going to want to get Shepherd's Pie as well, because that will be leaving the line in May. Our exclusive item, Red Thai Curry. Very popular item, but it left the line. It's here in the subscription pack. We've got another exclusive item, classic crab cakes. We've got rotisserie chicken, and yes, you can do an entire chicken just like this in your steamer in about 22 minutes. General Tao, one of my absolute favorites. We've got Alfredo, and please join me next week. I'm gonna be doing a very fun recipe using our chowder, or not chowder, our Alfredo, We've got an Azteca tortilla soup. And last but not least for our meal selection, taco. Without all the packaging and ingredients that you can't pronounce. This is, all of Epicare's products are so healthy. Of course, 100% gluten free. For dessert, we're gonna have the chocolate mud pie. And this uh, can be either served, as you see it here, as more a solid pie. I personally like whipping it, so it becomes like a chocolate mousse. And for our sample for the month, it's our three onion, which is a pantry staple. So that is our Epic subscription program. You will not be getting this one if you did not order it in February. This is the March package. If you would like to get the subscription pack, order it today, your box will show up the first week of April and it will be different, okay? All right, so this is almost done. It went, as soon as it comes out, I'm gonna put my black beans in, but I wanted to make a quick salad dressing because to make a meal um, that is really well balanced, you have to have veggies and protein and a little bit of oil and right your fat so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a salad dressing this is our salad dressing cruet right on the jar is actually measuring graduations uh printed right on the package on the glass and i've got this filled with olive oil that is three quarters cup high i am then going to have my funnel Marriage made in heaven, you have to have one without the other because how am I going to get our balsamic vinegar, our balsamic vinaigrette inside here without the funnel? Okay, so we'll just open up this package. We're going to grab our four in one spoon. Of course, we've got the tablespoon here, the teaspoon here. Flip it over, half a teaspoon and a quarter. And we're simply going to add two tablespoons of this. This is a very full jar. We're also going to add balsamic vinegar to the line. It's gonna be a quarter cup of this. So I'm just literally gonna fill to the one cup line. 
and then I'm going to shake it up with the lid. And what's really nice about this is this cuet now can be set into your fridge, but you, it's nice enough that you could actually set it on the table. So give, give this a good shake. Now, FYI, if you purchase and when you purchase any of our dressings, there's options as well to make creamy vinaigrette. So the directions, again, are right on the back of the jar. So we've got the balsamic vinaigrette today. But if you wanted to make it creamy, you add a tablespoon of Dijon mustard to the dressing. And it actually has a recipe for a balsamic green bean and tomato salad. Okay, so we've got that mixed up. Let me grab my chowder. Okay, so here's the chowder out of the microwave. Now the last thing, I did say we were gonna do black beans. So literally at this point, we didn't put them in too early because we don't want them to get mushy and we want them to have nice flavor. But literally we're going to just add the black beans in here. Give it a good stir with our saute spoon and we're going to put it in the microwave for one more minute just to warm it up a bit and then we're going to serve this but i've got a topper i'm going to add to it so give me a second here oops i need my lid Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to showcase how we're going to make this a balanced meal. So let me just clean up some of my mess here. Okay, to make this a balanced meal, what, what we're going to do is we're just simply going to make a quick little salad. Now, if you're cooking for one or two, you're just going to want to make a small amount. So this is called our Stay With Me Savers. How many of you have this? Okay, what I love about this is it's not just a box. Let me stop this for a second so I'm not talking over that. Um, this will make your food nice, keep it nice and crispy because there's a floor so um, that's lifted off. So there's a little vent, a, a drain, I guess, or um, a grate so that the moisture moves away from your veggies. And it will make your veggies keep them nice and crispy. Honestly, I've got a little bit of everything. It also comes with a divider. Now, you can put the divider in the middle. As you see, I've got it off to the side because I've got little cucumbers in here. I've got some celery. And we're just going to use, again, our ceramic knife. There it is right here. And what I love about cutting up lettuce with our ceramic knife is it tends not to go brown like I cut this quite a while ago and you notice if I had used stainless steel have you ever noticed that when you use this it sort of gets that rusty color so with ceramic you tend not to have that oxidization so a perfect balanced meal with our chowder would be roughly a cup of veg so we'll just put that in a bowl here maybe grab a little cucumber that in there maybe a little bit of celery seeing I've got this in here put that in there and I'm going to grab my soup okay now our salad dressing perfectly balanced grab your measuring spoon if you want to be exact but roughly all we're going to use to make it perfectly balanced is a tablespoon of our dressing over top if you wanted to add tomatoes you certainly could a little cheat for those of you um, who are watching your epic uh, life challenge is put your dressing on the side, dip your fork in your dressing in a little bowl and then stick it in your lettuce. That way every little bit gets flavor, but a tablespoon goes a really long way. So we've got that. Let me grab my chowder. We'll spoon that out. Okay, so here's our chowder. Let's get this out of the way here. So there's our chowder. Now we also have oops, a ladle here. Grab a little bowl. And we 
just going to like look at how yummy I can hardly wait this is how we're going to finish this off is we are going to to sprinkle on one of our one of my favorites how many of you have got the better than bacon topper I think this may be out of stock right now but put it on your wish list and stick it in your cart um, this is absolutely amazing. It's a vegan bacon. It's got lots of flavors and it's the flavoring. It's black. It's black beans that are cut really, really tiny. Just sprinkle that over top. Gives it a little bit of flavor. It'll give you all the flavor of bacon. And that is our meal for today. So what do you think? Are you ready to buy some of this amazing chowder? Remember, Guys, this chowder is only available right now in the month of March while quantities last. I, I already bought three sets of three. I highly recommend it. It is so darn handy, super easy, and very, very frugal, very easy to modify. You will absolutely love it. If you have any questions about the product that I've used, please reach out to me and uh, think about that subscription program because it is a substantial savings and it's a surprise every single month. So take care, everyone. Thanks for popping in. We'll see you again next uh, Thursday when I do another fun frugal feast meal for you. And uh, when you want to have your own cooking class with your friends, let me know. We'll do a little Zoom thing. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.